Hello, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM as we wrap up the final night of our month-long TCM Spotlight on Creepy Cinema. First, many thanks to TCM's friend, my pal, actor, comedian, and Italian gravy maker Mario Cantone for kicking off our Monday nights with a double feature of his favorite thrillers. Tonight, our focus is Universal Horror, the movies made by Universal Studios in the early 1930s that turned the genre into an American art form and gave Universal a signature, a calling card, that it badly needed in those early years of sound. Up next, from 1933, based on the novel by H.G. Wells, The Invisible Man. Earlier tonight, we had Frankenstein, a groundbreaking 1931 horror film that established Universal as the king of monster movies. Like Frankenstein, The Invisible Man was directed by James Whale, with contributions from Universal's brilliant makeup artist, Jack Pierce. English actor Claude Rains plays a scientist who creates a potion that renders him invisible. Unfortunately, a side effect of the potion is that it causes insanity. I mean, you have to really want to be invisible to accept that side effect. Bloating? Okay. Irritability? Light nausea? Sure. Fatigue? Fine. But insanity? <laughs> Who wants to be invisible that badly? The role was a challenge for Claude Rains, who had to rely almost entirely on his signature vocal skills to reveal his character's range of emotions. Fortunately for Rains and for Whale, Rains had an immediately recognizable and commanding voice. Gloria Stewart stars opposite Reigns, playing the Invisible Man's visible girlfriend. In the 1930s, Stewart worked with directors John Ford and George Stevens, but she left Hollywood in 1939, dissatisfied with the roles she was offered. She started a long second career as an artist, creating pieces seen in the Los Angeles County Museum of Art and New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art. In the 1970s and 80s, Stewart eased back into film and television work, when she heard that director James Cameron wanted an actress from the 1930s to play the older Rose in Titanic, she went after the part and she landed it. Stewart's performance earned her an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actress. While doing press for Titanic, she told a Dallas television reporter that directors from the 1930s who lacked stage or acting experience didn't fully understand the actor's process. She said she loved working with James Whale, who'd been an actor before he started directing. From 1933, here she is, opposite Claude Rains in The Invisible Man. Claude Rains became one of Hollywood's top character actors during the 1930s, working for decades in a series of excellent films, including The Adventures of Robin Hood, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, Now Voyager, Alfred Hitchcock's Notorious, David Lean's Lawrence of Arabia. Most famously, he played Louis, the French prefect of police in Casablanca. Reigns also proved to be a pretty jaunty song and dance man. The 1957 NBC television special, The Pied Piper of Hamelin, was a fantasy musical production starring Van Johnson as the storybook character. Claude Reigns played the mayor of Hamelin and performed a spirited musical number called Prestige. Joining him in the number was Doodles Weaver. Why do we bring up Doodles Weaver, other than, you know, his name was Doodles? He was Sigourney Weaver's uncle, Uncle Doodles. Coming up, more universal horror, more Claude Rains. He stars in The Wolfman with Lon Chaney Jr. with monster makeup by the great Jack Pierce. It is next on Turner Classic Movies.